there has been clues of where the next god of war could be going and they have been in front of us this whole time it all made sense to me when eric williams recently teased us in one of his recent interviews in this video i'll be discussing uh the clues that has been in front of us and also the interview that eric williams had on top of that i'll give you insider knowledge as most of you don't know i'm a small game developer and i've studied 3d art as well as storytelling so i will use my knowledge to tell you how santa monica will work towards their goal but i most importantly need you to let me know what you think of these clues and if they make sense to you let me know in the comment section also while you're at it please take the time to hit the like button to the subscribe button i need you to help me we need as a god of war community to understand this so we can have an idea of where the next god of war is going I found these stolen treasures early on as I was collecting artifacts. Uh, they didn't make much sense to me, but I knew they weren't random. Uh, fast forward a couple of days later, uh, Eric appears in an interview where he says this. You know, even though it's the end of the Norse saga, we leave it open for maybe there are other things with other mythologies and, and whatnot. So we'll see where that the future of Santa Monica goes. Now, I mean, if you pay attention to Tyr, I mean, he, you, mm -hmm. we, there's a reason why he does the six animations that he does at the end of the game. I'm sorry, say that again? <laughs> I will get back to this video again in a little bit. I need you to remember two things from what he says in this interview. He says six animations and he talks about Tyr. I need you to note those two things down because these are going to be crucial to the clues that I'm going to be talking about in this video. In the next clip, you're going to hear Eric talk about Tyr traveling the world. Take a listen to this. He does very specific animations. Yes. So we may, may have seen that he's been traveling the world. Now, getting back to Tyr and the number six. There are six important artifacts or the so-called stolen treasures found nearby Tears Temple in Midgard. Each of those artifacts has a description on them and they link about different mythologies, each of them. Now let's take a look at the liar as one of the first artifacts. I'm not gonna keep read all of it, but as you can read here on on this part, you can hear that that this is not exactly written by Kratos, but that this is probably something Mimir has written. You can also see the, a picture of the liar on the right side. We're also told that the liar is from Kratos' homeland, which is, you know, the Greek mythology. So, this one is just a throwback to where Kratos is from. Now, next up, we have the Ankh. A symbol representing the concept of life comes from a land of long to visit. We don't know who the author of this is. It could be Kratos. It sounds like Kratos. But it could also be Tyr or Mimir. But if we if we combine the top part with the bottom part, that said, one should never trust gossip, especially not when it comes to gods. That part is definitely written by Kratos, the bottom part. And if we combine the top part and the bottom part together, it definitely sounds like those two parts are written together. But it sounds like the middle part is written either by Tyr or Mimir. Um, who knows? Now, just to make it clear, the Ankh is not a fictional symbol that Santa Monica has made up. It is actually one of the most recognizable symbols from the ancient Egyptian mythology. And like it says in the description, it's known as the Key of Life. I'll get back to the Ankh later. For now, we need to get on the Kila. A Kila from the East. Uh, we're going to take that first part and read it, and we're also going to read the bottom part. It says it can also imprison demons. So those two sentences, the first and the last, gives us a lot of information of where the Kila is from and what it could potentially do. And reading about the Kila, it's Indonesian, and it comes from Indonesian mythology. And reading about Indonesian mythology, there is a shit ton of demons that Kratos could be the shit out of. Now, next up, we have the Jambia. Straight out of the bat, I can tell that this one is from the Middle Eastern culture uh, because that's where I'm from. And the Jambia is a sort of dagger, which what we would call a Hanjar in Arabic. And I don't know much mythology about this one. Uh, I couldn't seem to find anything mythological about it. Um, but it is from Middle Eastern culture. And 
It is also spell drawing spelled with an M and not an N. <laughs> but that's a minor detail. Now you see such daggers being used in popular Arab shows like Bab al and I'm pretty sure Arabs would, would recognize these. Next up is my personal favorite. It's a Mayan sculpture from the Southern Empire. And when they say the Southern Empire this time, we're not in the Middle East. We're more towards South America. Um, and there is a shit ton of interesting gods and, and, and demons to read about in this mythology as well. This would also fit well with the, with the God of War style. And now onto the confusing one, the fur. I have, this one confused me pretty much. I tried looking stuff up. I tried Googling it. I could not tell where this is from. Um, I'll leave this one for the community to figure out and for you guys to, to discuss and to let me know what you think of this. Um, it's even says in the description i've simply never seen anything like this it's clearly carved from stone but i don't recognize the craftsmanship so this also confused me it did not give any hints of where this is from and where this is going to lead to maybe someone out there will do will know please comment below and let me know if you do but now you're going to think reaper these are just artifacts they can't possibly link us to the next god of war i'll stop you right there because I will have to drag a line back to God of War in 2018, where we where we are in Tyr's Temple. You're probably going to wonder how can God of War 2018 possibly link us to the God of War after God of War Ragnarok? That's a good thought right there, because you remember in the beginning I told you that they have left clues right in front of us this whole time these god of war 2018 clues are exactly the same artifacts from god of war ragnarok both of those are linked together what it looks like for my pov is that they tried to tease us in 2018 nobody really caught on to it so in god of war ragnarok they're trying to tease it by leaving them as artifacts so to summarize it all we have six artifacts, we have six animations connected to Tyr, that means we have six mythologies that Tyr has traveled to, but does this necessarily mean that Tyr actually did this, or was it Odin, because we saw Odin as Tyr, I'll save this for another video, and maybe we can, maybe we can talk about this in another video. Now, moving on to the more interesting part what i make of as a theory of all of this and where i think a god of war is gonna go next where i think a kratos will go next keep in mind i'm not gonna touch on the actual ending of god of, of god of war ragnarok or atreus or anger Boda, or freya or through i can save these characters for different videos if you guys are interested let me know in the comments okay so i have multiple theories and some of, some of them probably make sense some of them probably don't i'm already gonna disclose and say that i've heard some people talk about um santa monica bringing religions into this i highly doubt that um i want to disclose that i strictly believe that they're gonna stick to mythologies and and mostly popular mythologies probably like the the mayan mythology or the egyptian mythology those are the two that are more likely to be chosen um, as for where I think God of War will go, um, seeing all these mythologies, you think, why are they all cluttered up? Is Kratos going to visit them all? You never know. And this is a shot out in the, in, in the nothingness out of, of which, what I've just seen here. This could be every single God from every single mythology hearing about kratos hearing about the god killer kratos um because you see how uh odin or tear the, the imposter tear reacts to seeing kratos for the first time he goes the god killer are you here to kill me too um that's the reputation kratos of god and it's sounds logically that other gods have also heard about heard about kratos and that these gods come together to take down Kratos. 
in one of the dialogues Kratos has, he says that he has found his own peace, and by the sound of it, there's not gonna be another God of War. Kratos wants to leave in peace. Kratos wants to leave for himself. And out of this dialogue, I came to the thought that what if he's trying to live in peace, and what if he get chased down by other gods? This theory could be um, possible, obviously, we don't know anything. Let me know in the comment section what do you think of this. You know, all of this stuff that Santa Monica has put into us could also be just gameplay elements to tease us about potential mythologies that Kratos could enter and potential mythologies that Santa Monica is considering. They don't necessarily have a full on idea of where we're going right now. We don't know that. I'm just assuming they don't necessarily have a full on idea of where, where, go, where they're going. They're just leaving these assets or these artifacts for us to investigate and to wonder where they could go next. If you watched this far, I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought of this and let me know if there are other things that I missed and that I could have brought into this.